Let's take a look at sweepers and hooks in this video. First of all, let's take a look at some manual sweepers. You can uh, do that. What it, what it would be is a dry sweeper. So we could drag a dry sweeper down into the car player, find some music that we wanted. And uh, so let's do that one there. And if you click on the little S in the car player that's got the dry sweeper in it, that will link these two together. You can see the moment that I clicked on that, the S on the song also went red. If we click on that again. And so these two are tied. And what it means is that whether I start playing this one or start playing this one, uh, it will actually be this song that starts first. It's got a 13 second intro, whereas this dry sweeper is seven seconds. And we've set our sweeper style to be timed to the intro end. So what it'll do is it'll start playing this song. It'll then fade down this song, start playing this dry sweeper, and the dry sweeper will finish in time for the vocals to begin. So uh, we've set it up here and here, so we've got the S. So what I could actually do, I've opened my two faders on my mixer desk, and even if I click on play here on the dry sweeper, this song is gonna start. And so the uh, song starts going, and when this has got uh, just under seven seconds left, now, now it's faded down the song slightly, and then at the end of this, it'll bring it back up. You think that you can come round and play me? Are you okay? Cause you're acting crazy. So that's uh, that's a sweeper. So uh, we'll do that again. I'll show you that again. So we highlight a dry sweeper, always works better with a dry sweeper. You drag it down. And then you click on the S. But what happens, you say, if you've got uh, two pieces of music lined up in a car player? Well, I'll drag that one down. And what happens is you click on the S and it asks you which one you would like it to be associated with. Would you like it with wrong or somewhere else? So we're going to click on wrong. And again, I'll just click on the, uh, the play button. And now if you just watch the volume control here, I'll just leave the faders both at the same volume. Radio 24-7. This is Hot Hot FM. FM. And so Myriad itself fades down the music, uh, plays the sweeper, and then fades the music back up. So that is the manual super sweeper function. So if we see how it's done in the log, click on the log here, and uh, we're going to add in a dry sweeper. So we're going to go to the audio wall, and go back to jingles, we're going to add a dry sweeper into the log. Now, this one is neat. We need to categorize it as a dry sweeper. So we right click on it and we do change sweep into the intro. So that turns it into a sweeper. And you see we get a slightly different icon here. It's not a red one or a green one. It's a yellow one with a plus, which means that it is a sweeper. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of our uh, one of our songs that we can play here on the videos and we'll drag that in after the sweeper. So let's grab this and uh, we'll do that drag that into the log after our dry sweeper. And so if we, we're on air, we're in live assist, we turn that on, we'll start playing, uh, we'll start playing this track. We'll get to, the, get to the end. And so it's green at the end, which means it's just gonna move on to the next track. And uh, we'll just see how that goes. And so it's gonna move on. So I started playing the Duran song Lost You Forever from 3. Now, now, here comes Hot FM Radio 24-7. And so it's done the same thing, but we've had it in our log. And we've done it as the uh, as the yellow cross to symbolise a dry sweeper. If you've set your uh, sweepers in auto track as dry sweepers, then you won't need to change that icon to be the uh, sweep into intro. It will do that automatically. But uh, if not, you can choose that sweep into the intro and that will change it into a sweeper, 
with the yellow cross. So that's how it deals with sweepers in the log. Now let's take a look at hooks. So what are they? Well, they're the main chorus part of the song, the, the, the bit that if you could only hear a 10 second, less than 10 sec second snippet of a song, that is the bit of the song that you would like to hear. And they're great for if you've got a music based radio station for uh, promoting ahead as to what songs you've got coming up in the next 30 minutes or something like that and uh, so you set the hooks in smooth edit if we just click on this one this one we can see has got a hook because it's got a h in the uh, on the cart you can see here h it's got an extra i for any information tells you how long the uh, file is and if we click on that we can see this middle bit here is the hook you can see here hook start hook end we can listen to the hook just by clicking on that there So that's our, our hook set on that one and so you can quite easily go in and set hooks just to highlight that and click on the hook start and the hook end and that will set you a new hook should you want. So that's how you set them up. Let's close those down and uh, now we can see we've got a hook. So the hook is just the, the main bit of the song. You could also use it, don't forget if you're more of a speech station, you could use it um, as a highlight from a so, you know, a snippet from an interview that you've got coming up later and you could use that in your menu at the start of uh, your program to say coming up a little bit later on we hear from uh, the MP David Hicks and then play a little bit of that. So to play the hook, so um, we've got this hook here we can right click, go to hook and we can do Q hook and that will load it up into the hook into the car player and then we can just use our normal play controls we get a little countdown here and so that will play the hook what you can also do is you can go up to hook and you can do add to hook player and then that means that you could highlight that one and you could also highlight this one and then add those to hook player and then when you play those you get a total duration of all of the audio that's in your hook player and so I'll play this one and then move on to this one so that's uh, that's the hook player so you could uh, line up a few bits and pieces in the hook and you can also do the um, same in the pad as well to stack up hooks. So you could do view and display pad. And if we clear that pad off there, clear pad, we drag those ones in. And by default, it'll play the song. But if we click on hooks, then it'll stick those in and it'll play those from the players there. Or we can say, if we just re that up, we can actually say send the list to one player and that in essence is the same as doing the hook player and we could go in there and we could add in a little separator in the middle if we do that again eject those out you can see it's uh, now going to play those from there if there's no hook set it will play the entire wave file FM. So there you go, that's uh, how you could set those up, uh, manually making up some hooks. You can also do auto hooks in the log as well. So if we go to the log file here and uh, we right click and we do insert and auto hook, what we can do, we can include maximum of three items, the next three items just in this hour and we can say um, one and the separator cart number is two and the end cart number is three. You can also stick in an alternate cart number as well. If you were auto uh, hooking several carts, you can also browse for those carts as well if you can't remember them off by heart. And if you click on OK in here, it's actually made an auto hook up of the next three items. So if we uh, go back to our log and turn it back on, we can see here that it's made our auto hooks with the, those songs, bits and pieces, and then it goes 
back into the song. So it's a, it's a way of making up an auto hook and you can set that in your clocks in auto track if you're using it or just do it manually like I have there. If you want to have more uh, screen real estate, by the way, if you just click on that, that will uh, collapse down that hook player, gives you the total duration there anyway. And so then you can just see it playing away. It'll play that as one whole item playing away. Yeah. So. So it's just playing our hooks. Hot FM. And so then it's playing our other tracks that we've got here because it's doing Durand, Angel City, and the Styles and Breeze. And here comes another hour of Hot FM. Now, now, Simon. And then it comes to the end of that. FM, Radio 24-7. And then it'll move on to the actual track. So that's uh, auto hooks in the uh, in the log. So various ways of doing hooks. Hooks are very, very useful indeed. And uh, like I said, useful for more than just music as well. Think about whether or not you could use them for a way of uh, clipping out the best answer on an interview that you've just done. So uh, that is hooks and sweepers.